It'll depend, right? Because I feel like early on we'll see a lot of offense, but depending on how the defense goes, that'll really see if this will be like a back and forth match or if one will run over the other, essentially. Yeah, I, I think it lack, um, not sorry, Skyrim as Krom, you're going to have to be really smart with how you place uh, your, your openings because Pokemon Trainer is a character that can completely blow up Krom off stage, and um, Squirtle definitely has the ability to keep up with Krom's speed, so you're going to need to be you're gonna need to be tricky with it. You can't just be super obvious with aggression. Mm -hmm, absolutely, especially at these early percents where Squirtle we just saw there uh, goes for the punish, get a nice conversion. That's actually on the lower end as well. Uh, very common to see Squirtle just sort of playing out the mid-range, waiting for you to swing, coming in and getting like a 30% in the stage. Yeah, and the, both these characters kind of do something similar. They, they they have they have the speed to just completely come next to you and get hit you with such good um, combo ability. So, I think it's gonna be a matter of who who strikes first, who takes the bait first. Mm -hmm. I did actually like from Skyrim there on that one. Jump forward with the fair, uh, saw that it was out of spacing, and then did another jump for a nair. That's an unfortunate spacing though. Yeah, I don't think he quite saw how far he was from the ledge right there. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Sometimes those happen. And I'm liking Lax sticking almost solo Squirtle. I think this is definitely the play. I feel like Ivysaur, um, especially, can get super overwhelmed. And Charizard has some out of shield, but it's still pretty tough to deal with Krom's aggression. But Squirtle is a nice small body that can combo Krom right back. Mm -hmm. And that's a real big thing that we're seeing as well. It's kind of hard to hit Squirtle, and you need to get in his face a little bit. All right, the Ivysaur off stage. All right. I like the choice of the backer on that one. Uh, taking full stage control for himself, the down air. Oh. oh no, gets caught under the lip of PS2. That's yeah. unfortunate. I feel like Skyrim was trying to delay it a bit to mix up the timing for Ivy Dare um, <laughs> and just wait a bit too long and got under that stage. Yeah, that is unfortunate. There is quite a noticeable lip on this stage that you have to be wary of. Oh no, the air dodge. All right. Skyrim now with the stage. Gonna play a little bit cautiously on this one. Lax slowly, oh. Lax slowly moving forward as well. Got the dash and then the turnaround, which uh, locked him into the animation. Yeah, Lax been stuck at ledge now for quite some time, but manages to break out, being really patient, using the double jump to bait out um, that neutral thing. Yep, I like also the uh, recognizance of the tech chase scenario. Waited that one to see what Skyrim's option was gonna be. Nice, good whip punish was there with the hitbox when Skyrim was coming in from a little bit outside of his range. Yeah, and Skyrim, kind of some desperation coming out. We've seen him throw, just moves out even when Lax is not near him. Mm -hmm. Probably trying to read Lax running in, but Lax is just not giving Skyrim anything because they know they're not going to lose if they just wait for their opportunity. So they're playing it super smart. Mm -hmm. Nice, the classic. The platform back air, and that back air is so huge. It's so hard to get out of the way of that thing. So that was pretty good on that one, especially like you said, Lax, I think, adapting towards uh, after that first stock was taken, a lot of just playing back, sort of baiting Skyrim in and looking for those, um, those overextensions on that one. Yeah, and if Skyrim does want to uh, improve on game two, you can't be falling for that bait. You gotta just, honestly, you could just stand there or you can mix up how you do aggression and go in with something a bit safer, not go for like something like the, they did like a run up side B that got them punished and like a big neutral B on ledge over Charizard. So mm -hmm. I think um, it's a, both a matter of just a bit more uh, patience in approaching and mixing up how you approach more. For sure. And um, there were some places there where he could have played a bit patient while uh, Lax was in the corner. But we're going to see now uh, what the adaptation will be in game two to Smashville for the counter pick. Yeah, I, I agree with this counter pick because PS2 is pretty spacious. Um, I think especially uh, Pokemon Trainer can really utilize those platforms, I think, more than Krom. So I think uh, this layout is much more favorable for Krom. Mm -hmm. Definitely a smaller amount of space to box in, but that also means Lax has less space to go if he wants to go for a whip punish on this one. All right, I like the chase to get the double jump on that one. Waited to avoid the water, but waited a little too long and was under the stage. Yeah, and Lax has um, been pretty sloppy with the recover. Not Lax, sorry, Skyrim has been pretty sloppy with these recoveries. He uh, SD'd a couple times game one, and right to get, um, right now SD'd again. So he's gonna have to brush up on that. But this is looking like just a complete stomp. Cool. Yeah, Lax doing a really good job there of uh, keeping Skyrim in the air on that one. Oh, actually, still made it back right at the tip. Very nice. All right, tried to go for what looked like a uh, tech chase with a dash attack on that one, but Lax there with the tech. All right. 
threatening at the ledge. Oh, okay. Uh, I smashed scooped even from behind. Okay, and right here we see Skyrim doing options that we haven't been seeing from him. So hopefully um, this newfound aggression can be well placed and get a comeback. Because you're going to need to close up the stock pretty soon against Charizard. Nice. And that is not how you do it. Yep. Uh, a lot of uh, slow and low recoveries from Skyrim on that one. Lax going out to interrupt. And without that double jump, although Krom has a really good airspeed, there's not too much he can do to get back. All right. Oh! Actually, got the get up. Yeah, a bit sloppy from Lax right there, just uh, getting up into that. But regardless, he has such a lead right now, and on a fresh Squirtle, it's going to be like near perfect play from Skyrim to bring this back. Mm -hmm. This is like several good interactions, or like a miracle uh, edge guard, or like a good kill. This is a lot of work for Skyrim to bring this back. All right. Ooh, that could have been game right there. Mm -hmm. Again, very good with the patience, waiting for the uh, tech chase option on that one. Lax definitely playing it a little bit slower. And we've seen that when Skyrim does get in, it looks like Lax is definitely feeling the pressure from Krom, understandably so. So playing a little bit out. Oh, that's the double jump. That's it. Yeah, right there. Um, kind of like the last stock, Lax has been waiting super long on these recoveries. So um, now twice in a row, um, just drop down there with Charizard, c catches the Krom wait. And so really good uh, adaptation by Lax. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when you go for those slow and low recoveries, you will see Kroms oftentimes swinging a little bit to try to keep people out of their space for this particular reason. Uh, it can be a little scary because then you commit yourself to an aerial. It might be, oh, what if I get whiff punished? Oh, what if I commit too long and then I can't get back with my up B? But with Krom, inevitably, whenever you get tossed off stage, it's a risk. You know, you mm -hmm. can't not take one. Yeah, 